keep them coming. Oh, this is a brilliant one. This is so good. This is so fucking good. This is so fucking good. Whoever made this, you're a fucking legend. This is so good. Keep them coming, right? Let's play this. This is brilliant. This is fucking brilliant. But yeah, yeah. that's why it is making me uncomfortable when you compliment it. But yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I- you're right. If if you take compliments well, you're a sociopath. Well, dude, okay, that's keep actually them interesting. <laughs> Go on, Brendan Schaub. It's your boyfriend, Jeff Die. Very proud of you, buddy. Two specials. I've got zero. You already have two. Okay, that's keep them coming. Interesting. <laughs> Go on. What's up, Big B? Damn, I got dandruff. Dang, boy, that shit is big too, mm. huh? <laughs> Looks like my dandruff has been doing coke, boy. Um. What's up, player? I'm at my grandmother's house right now, but uh, just chilling, man. About to grill up some oysters, actually. Um, just wanted to say what I didn't notice until I saw this clip again. Theo legitimately didn't remember why he was recording this video. He actually forgot midway through the clip. He realized why he was recording this video. He, oh shit! I got to do this this fucking cringy shout out. He thought he was just doing a little check in, like they do this all the time on on the back in there and King of the Sting. They'll do these little checking videos. He didn't actually remember what he was doing this for. It mattered so little to him. <laughs> he completely forgot why he was doing it. <laughs> he was really. Let's go back one more moment. I didn't realize when I watched this clip, I was like, I didn't realize how much, how lack of a shit he gave about this. It's hilarious. Watch. What's up, Big B? Damn, I got dandruff. <laughs> Dang, boy. That shit is big too, huh? Looks like my dandruff has been doing coke, boy. Um, what's up, player? I'm at my grandmother's house right now, but uh, just chilling, man. About to grill up some oysters, actually. Um, was this the last appearance of Theo on anything relating to Brendan content? This might have been the last actual appearance of him outside of the I don't want that. Right on the last that last episode. This might be the last actual appearance. Just wanted to say what's up. Oh, wanted to say this, man. Congratulations on the special, baby. Okay, That's keep them coming. Interesting- <laughs> Go on. What's up, Sting? I'm proud of you. It's your second special, and it's going to do great things for you. I know a lot of people will see it. You've been working really hard. You should be really proud of yourself. I'm going to keep this short because I know a lot of guys are saying congratulations, but congratulations. Okay, That's keep them coming. Interesting- <laughs> Go on. b congratulations on your second Special here's to 17, 18, 19, and 20 more. <laughs> Tell the haters to suck your big Keep brown coming. baby. Dick, congratulations to my man. Keep kicking ass. Okay, That's keep them coming. Interesting- <laughs> Go on. Always bet on shop. Hasn't failed me yet. This video will never, ever not make me laugh. I swear to God, this video will not never make me laugh. I've never seen another comedian do this. Even Andrew Schultz wouldn't do this. Even Andrew Schultz, who's the master of self fellatio, right? He's the master of fucking giving himself sloppy toppy. Even Andrew Schultz wouldn't do this. I've never seen a single comedian do something like this. This is fucking wild, bro. Getting all your friends to make videos thanking you for making the special. What? NJ Ranger, come on, be fair. I saw the same thing. Andrew Schultz having his dad at the... M- MSG whatever Master Square Garden that was cringe that was a bit whatever but there's some context to it a little bit right I- I'm not too sure if I buy the lie that his dad told him he was gonna d- whatever I- I don't- I- I'm not too sure I buy the story t- the storytelling aspect of it but in terms of a standalone video that made more sense than this just in terms of him just saying hey dad look what I did man look what I achieved dad and just showing him in the- you know just having that as a video like hey my dad was always my biggest fan I just want to show him that I sold out this crazy fucking venue. Cool, whatever. It's cringy, I get it. But that wasn't the same as this. Don't get me wrong. The show thing is still redacted and still fucking cringy and lame. But think about the effort. Think about the logistics that went into making this video. Please, guys, for one moment, think of the logistics that went into making this video. They have to put their... He has to send an email out to all these friends telling them, hey, I've got this special coming out. Can you record a video um, under one minute? send it back to this address or send them to chin at this email address or whatever it may be think about it having to ask your friends to do this for you and then get on camera and pretend like you didn't know about it come on man come on bro come on yes it's redacted but compare this to just filming a video with your dad hey dad look what i did i bought this building dad look i've got this fucking amazing sold out show still cringe because you're doing it obviously to you know you're doing it as a fucking 
wannabe American Idol moment type of thing, right? Like, oh, I grew up and I had to eat cockroaches for dinner. And then when I started crying, I started singing, I realized I could sing. All that kind of sobby sob story shit. I get why you're doing it. But still, the Andrew Schultz thing is way less redacted than this. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, That's keep them coming. <laughs> Go on. What's up, Brendan? It's your boy Chappelle Lacey here. You know who I am, Back to Love Lacey. Uh, I just want to congratulate you on your special. Okay, That's keep them coming. <laughs> Go on. Brendan, just want to say congratulations on your second special, Gringo Papi. Okay, That's keep them coming. <laughs> Go on. Hey, what up, Shalom? I just want to uh, say congrats on your special, man. Okay, That's keep them coming. <laughs> Go on. Hey, big boy. Brendan's bit. Eric Griffin's been sucking off Brendan from the beginning, isn't it? As soon as Brendan started paying him some money, as soon as he started wiring some money into his account, he completely changed. Look, look at that mouth. Look at the way his mouth is. Look at that pause. Look at the shape of Eric Griffin's mouth thinking about Brendan. Big boy. What's up, Brendan? My friend. Um, My damn, friend. I don't even know what to say. Now he's your friend, eh? Funny, isn't it? All, all it takes to be Eric Griffin's friend is you got to pay him. If you pay him, he's definitely your friend. Day, but ever since I made fun of you at the improv, because I was like, what is this, you? Ever since I made fun of you at the improv, I just loved you ever since. Like, fucking spineless piece of shit. UFC fighter doing, thinking he could do comedy. And since that moment, you've... He's also the person that you should watch out for the most. People like this, you should always watch out for them. People that hated you without any reason. Like, he just hated Brendan from the minute he saw him. He saw him, he saw this guy, big dude, athlete, and was immediately jealous. Then as soon as Brendan started paying him money, Sonny went to be his friend. Brendan's got to be careful with this type of dude. This type of person that will stab you in the back. This is definitely one of the people that, when they say that, what's that saying? Um, keep your fucking, um, keep your enemy, keep your, your enemies close, your friends, whatever that fucking saying is, right? I don't want to get fucked up. But he's the, he's the example of it. You have to be very careful with Eric Griffin types. He hated Brendan from the off, then Brendan started paying him and suddenly he changed his complete opinion about Brendan and now Brendan's his friend. He's making dick sucky lips when he's talking about him. Proven to be a person that attacks everything that you do with the same sort of energy to be successful. I, right. if, if you take compliments well, you're sociopath. So what's a compliment that you would get where you'd be like, all right, cool, yeah. Big dick? Bet. <laughs> <laughs> that no. I know. What's Also, what's happening with the mustache? Why is he not putting it just for men in it? Is he too lazy? Or is it too redacted? He allegedly he got sent some free just for men, which I don't believe. I think he just bought them himself, but then tagged them. What's happening with the mustache? He's just cutting it really low now, so he can't see the grace too much. But he's not dying it anymore. I wonder why. I wonder why. What's happening with the mustache? Why is he abandoning abandoning the dying of it? What's happening here? He's completely abandoned this. What's happened? I wonder what's happened. I wonder. I wonder what the fuck's happened. But anyway. Um, that was that one. What are you guys saying in the chat? Shop changes his shtick and personality so much. It's like he's a completely different person every two years. Yeah, it's it's so sad, man. It really is. It's so 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 sad. 